a man, much reserved by nature, was very hesitant to ask his boss for a raise in his salary. One Friday morning, he got up and told his wife, I will do it today, darling. I shall ask my boss for a raise in my salary. As the man came to his office, he was extremely nervous, anxious, and very apprehensive all throughout the day to speak up. Late in the afternoon, as he approached his boss, finally, he gathered the courage to speak up and ask for a raise in his salary. Much to his delight, the boss agreed. The man was on the top of the world. And when he came back home, he saw a beautiful dinner table, fine crockery set on the table, beautiful candles lit up. His wife had prepared a festive meal to celebrate the occasion. He guessed someone from the office may have tipped her off and informed her about it. Anyways, he got into the kitchen, hugged her, gave her the good news and came and sat down to have his meal. Right there on the table was a card. When the man picked up the card and read the contents, the card said, Congratulations, darling. I knew you'll get that salary raise. These things, the dinner table, the crockery, the candles, the fine meal, all of these things are to tell you how much I love you. Prep by prep, the lady served her husband and as she went back into the kitchen finally to bring the dessert, from the pocket of her apron fell another card unknown to her. The man picked up the card and as he read the contents of the card, he had tears in his eyes. On the card was written, Don't worry darling, even if you did not get that salary raise, you deserve much more than that. This dinner table, this crockery, this fine candles, this fantastic meal, all these things are simply meant to tell you how much I love you. Total acceptance, total love, total support. Her love for him was unconditional. It did not depend on his success at work. In fact, it was exactly the opposite. If he were to fail, if he were to be rejected, he would have needed that total acceptance and support all the more. And she would be there by his side to support him, softening the blows, healing his wounds, believing in him, loving him. Even if we were to be rejected by the whole world, if we have one person in our lives who can totally accept us, totally believe in us, totally love us and totally support us, we can certainly achieve what we want and reach where we want to go. Therefore, surround yourselves with people who believe in you and accept you totally regardless of your successes or failures and also be that person for someone regardless of their successes or their failures.